right? So we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Um, I want to ask you some questions uh, because you, you you've been you've been in this world much longer than most of us have been here. So you should be able to identify with some of the things that we're gonna bring out. All right. So go to Deuteronomy chapter one verse one. Now keep in mind this sign right here because this is your real nationality. Matter right. of fact, um, seventeen to four. What is that? Um, Jeremiah seventeen to four. Watch this. So this right here, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulun, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Issachar, Naphtali, all right? These are the names that God gave us. These are the names that you're going to find in the Bible, right? right? There's 18 nations on this planet, and you're going to find each one of them in this Bible. There's no new people on the planet. Right. So we have not been called Judah, Benjamin, and Levi for centuries, right? So listen to this. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it up. And thou, excuse me, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Read it one more time. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So the Bible says that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will be discontinued from their heritage. That's right. right? What is our heritage? Is our heritage BET? Is our heritage thoughts and baby mamas and baby daddies? Is that our heritage? Is our heritage keeping the 4th of July? When we were in captivity in the 4th of July 17, what is it, 62? We were in captivity. 1776. 1776. We were we were still in captivity. Right? Read that. Yeah, yeah, read that one more time. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the most high God has given us a heritage, but we have discontinued from that, and we have took on the heritage of all the other Gentile nations right. that are around us. Right. We are the people of God. Right. All other nations are Gentiles. Contrary to what you've been taught in the Christian church, we are the Israelites Man. and not Gentiles. Right. We have followed after Gentile uh, customs, so therefore we've taken on Gentile names in this captivity. Right. Black is a Gentile name. African American is a Gentile name. West Indian is a Gentile name. Teach. All right? These are the names that God gave us. Now, let's find out what heritage we discontinued from. Surah, chapter 24, verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God, even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage. Even a what? Even the law which Moses commanded for an heritage. So all of these things that we've been bringing out, abstaining from unclean foods, keeping the high holy days, uh, um, uh, having a dress code, these are our laws which are our heritage. You understand? That's our heritage. Upholding God's laws. That's our heritage. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish that up. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To do what? Serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So, question. The Bible says that we're going to serve our enemies in a land that we know not. What is the name of that land that we're, we're serving our enemies in? America. So when we were brought here in 1619 in, in, in chains or in the bottom of the, the uh, cargo slave ships, those people that were driving, were they our friends? Can we make them our friends today? Should we intermingle and marry with them? What did the Bible call them? Our enemies. That's what God says. God says that they are our enemies, Make not our friends. Make it plain. Right? Is it anyone on that? Yes, sir. Read. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So, the Most High is so upset with us that he delivered us to our enemies. And now we serve those enemies. Right. Get um. 
Deuteronomy 28. All right, bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So because we don't keep the Sabbath days, because we don't keep uh, the, the, uh, the high holy days, because we don't keep the dietary law, because our women don't, uh, um, uh, wear, because they don't wear dresses, because they don't uh, um, submit to their husbands. Right. Therefore, we are in captivity right now. Read it again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. So I don't want that to slip. It says for the abundance of all things. We decided not to follow God for the abundance of all things. Where, where do you find the abundance of all things? If you want to find all the trees, where do you find them? If you want to find all the dirt, all the rocks, all the birds, where are they located? Highways and highways. On the earth, <laughs> right? All everything is located on the earth. So, for the abundance of all things means the earth, the entire earth. We didn't want to serve the Lord our God with joyfulness and gladness for the what does it say? For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things, we could have had all things if we only kept God's laws. Right. So, what happened because we didn't do that? Verse forty-eight. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy Enemies. Now we're gonna serve our friends. Serve thine enemies. That place that you clock into on Monday through Friday, you serve your friend. Shall serve thine enemies. Well, you understand that? We were brought here in this place as captives and we serve our enemies. Those that brought us here, read. Right? Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who, who, sent, who sent these people against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent these people against us for our disobedience. That's right. It was our fault that we lost everything. Our fault. And it's only up to us to regain it. Teach. Read. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. So before we had the abundance of all things, now we serve our enemies for all things. Right? It says for what? Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Bible says that you're going to serve the Lord in hunger. These people in this area right now, if they want to drink, if they want a soda, where do they go? They go across the street. Teach. They go across the street to get their sodas. They go across the street to get whatever they want. But the Bible says we're going to do what? Serve our enemies for That's all things. Right. Right. So that is not our friends over there. They are not our friends over there. These people that own this, they are not our friends. They are our enemies. That's right. You have to make a distinction. Our enemies come and set up camp in our neighborhood and it's no problem. But yet and still, we can't walk around in our own neighborhood. That store been there for years and not one black man could, could uh, purchase it. But you look over there, we got the Arabs. And they so smart, they get the store right next to it. Then they get the stores right over here down the street. They own this whole block. Teach. But we're going to serve our enemies for the one of all things. So let's make it plain. Uh, read that again. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So if you're hungry, I want you to answer. If you're hungry, where do you go to get your food? Let's, let's say you're going to make groceries. Say it again. Piggly you go to Piggly Wiggly. All right. Who brings in the items for Piggly Wiggly? Who owns that store? Is it somebody that looks like me and you, or are they another nation? All right. So I've that's never seen them. you never seen them. But now you can guarantee that it's not a black man to own the chains of Piggly Wiggly. Right. So when you're hungry, you have to go to your enemy for food. Watch this. And in thirst. So when you're thirsty, where do you go get your water from? Or who disconnects your water if you don't pay your bills? City of Rocky Mount. The city of Rocky Mount. Is that is that owned by a white man? I mean by a black man? It's predominantly by a white man. So that white man is going to come and cut off your water, right? You're going to go to the white man for food. You're going to go to the white man for your water. Watch this. And in nakedness. So it says you're going to serve your enemies in nakedness. So those clothes that you have, did we produce the textiles for that? Did the black man, Hispanic or Native American man produce those textiles? Do we produce Levi jeans or coats? 
No, we don't. So if you want to get clothing, you want to go to your enemy, right? Now watch this. It's gonna it's gonna bring out what your enemy did to you, therefore pointing out who your enemy is. Watch this. And in want of all things. If you want a marriage license, who you get that from? Judge. The judge. And, and is he a black man or a white man? I never seen you know. <laughs> you never. You never. I seen, I seen white ones and black ones, but I don't know. Right, but who makes the rules here in America? Uh, is it black men making the rules? Nope, it's the white man. It's the white man making the rules. So who, who owns America? Is it the black man running America? It's the white man running America. Who Who is over in the other countries running other countries? Is it the black man? It's the white man. All right? This scripture is pointing out something. That we're going to drive it home for you. Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So that same enemy that you go to get food, water, and clothing from, it says... He shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Let's look at this, these photos down here. You see this right here? What is this called? This right here is an auction block. This is this is slavery. They're auctioning off our people. One, one, one nigga, 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 two nigga, nigga, sold to Master Charles in Virginia. All right? So where's the other photo? Right here, right here. What is this on this brother's neck? Uh, a noose. I'm Read it again. Me. Watch this. Okay, and he shall put a yoke of iron. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Who put this yoke of iron on this brother's neck? The so-called white man. So the Bible is pointing out to you who your enemy is. It says you're going to go to your enemy for... Uh, for hunger, for water, for clothing, for the abundance of all things, you're going to go to your enemy. Jesus. And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. What? Until he have destroyed thee. So we went into captivity. We had yokes of iron put around our necks, yokes of iron put around our feet and around our hand. And they disconnected us from our heritage, being right. Israel. Right. right? We were we were made to serve other gods. Give me that. What's that? Um. 64. Yeah, bring that out. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So my question is, how did us as blacks get in um, Rocky Mount? How do we get in uh, uh, Jamaica? How do we get to all those places? What what was the mode of transportation? Walking. Huh? Are they walking? No, no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't ride, we were cargo under the bottom, how were we on that ship? How were we on that ship? We was chained up in the bottom of the ship. You see that right there? Right at the bottom? That's history. Do you know that that is recorded in the Bible? So our mode of transportation, we got here by cargo slave ship, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.